How long have you been here? Is it still the 90s? We'll get you settled in. The docs will patch you right up. And you're gonna have to move the girl. She's not mine. Who does this one belong to? OK, sweetheart, up you go. This nice lady needs to rest, too. Oh. Nurse! This man carried her in, set her down, and left. Did you see where he went? No, I, I figured he went to check her in, get a cup of coffee or something. I, I didn't see him after that. Did you get a good look at him? He was tall, 30-ish, about 5'10", 5'12". 5'12", that's good. Did you notice when they got here? News was just ending, Tom Brokaw. So about seven, huh? You remember what he was wearing? A coat and a hood, I think. I don't remember the color. Sorry. It's OK. Thanks. Tell me something. Does the security camera work? Yeah, they're supposed to. Uh, I'll run down the tapes. Did anybody take a look at her? Uh, Dr. Sugarman. Did you examine the girl in the waiting area? Yeah, she was dead when I got to her. What time was that? 9.40. Cause of death? Ask the ME. Name, next to kin? She wasn't checked in. No identification. We done? Seven shattered ribs, punctured lungs, and a lacerated aorta. Caused by what? It's consistent with the beating. Time of death? Between 4 and 7 p.m. Going by the size of the laceration, the pooling of blood in the abdomen, fatal blow, round three. Rape? The kit was negative. No bruising in those areas. What's with the wrists? And the ankles. Fresh ligature wounds. Bruises and chafing all the way around the midsection. Tied up like an animal. Tied up with what? It's no fibers, probably not a rope. Could be a chain. Wasn't the bonds of love. The tape is time stamped 6.55 p.m. There's no footage of them after that. What about Jane Doe? Missing persons have anything? Nothing yet. You hear from the Board of Ed? Yeah, they won't let you pass the girls' photo around the schools, but they will give us an absentee list. Uh, Kira's in North Carolina. She left last week. Vacation in the middle of the semester? She's going to school down there. It's better for her. There are better schools. You, you have a picture of her? Is that the school uniform down in North Carolina? No. <laughs> it was taken a couple months ago. When she was still at PS 89? Yeah. And she's staying with friends of mine in Durham until I can get a job down there. There you go. Oh, man. look like blood to you. Get that out of my face. That ain't my kid, and I didn't hurt my wife. The rap sheet tells a different story. Three months ago, you broke your wife's arm. Before that, you did a tap dance on her face. Her neighbors heard a fight yesterday. You take it out on your own kid? I want a lawyer. The blood in Alyssa Turner's apartment doesn't match Jane Doe's. It doesn't prove it's not his kid. Plus, the guy just lawyered up. Check battered women's shelters. Maybe you can find them there. Excuse me. Is this your daughter, Alyssa? Jess, why? She's been missing school. Uh, you thought maybe your husband. He only hits me. Hey, if you want to press charges, he's at the 2 7. Fine. After I take Alyssa to school. Where's your school uniform? We don't wear uniforms. You go to PS 89, right? Yeah. Uh, did this girl go to your school? She's dead. Looks like that girl, Kara. Kara Grayson? This is your daughter, isn't it? Look, it's hard. Single mother, hyperactive child. Things pile up, you snap. Why are you doing this to me? Why don't you call the number I gave you? We called. No answer, no machine. Kara's with them. Try again. And don't make me do this. You agree to it. I changed my mind. <laughs> Are you going to stand there and tell me that's not your daughter? Oh, my God. Here. Oh, <gasps> my God. You lied about the picture. You lied about North Carolina. You arranged for someone in Durham to cover up your lie. And now you want us to believe that you had nothing to do with that child's death? How many people in Manhattan you know got no telephone? This chip paint's about the only thing we found out of the ordinary. Looks recent. Yeah. Any idea what caused it? Something dragged back and forth here. Chain, maybe. 
The bruises around the girl's waist, tied up like an animal. You find a chain? No. Looks like Bill Crawford. He's big like this. He's got a bulldog jacket. You have access to this phone? Sure. He kind of works here. He does a real good job, real conscientious. I got to give him that. Where's he live? No idea. Talk to Rosa Hallisey. She's the one that got him the gig here. Rosa Hallisey? Who's she? Neighborhood den mother. No, no, Bill would never hurt a child. Well, he brought her to the hospital. He must know what happened to her. Sister Rosa, the cops just took my dad again. Tell your mom to meet me at the precinct. Sister Rosa? He used to be a nun. Do you excuse me? No, I don't know where Bill goes. Anybody else you might know? I'm his best friend. Lenny. Mind if we come in? No. Ah, nice jacket. Where'd you get it? I traded with Bill. Where'd the blood come from? Nosebleed. His or yours? His. What's your jacket look like? Desert camouflage. This your gum? Yeah. Matches? Yeah. Chinese ticket stub? No. Nope. Stop! Police! <laughs> I didn't do anything to the girl! I didn't do anything to her! All right. Why'd you run away from us? I don't know. Because you killed Kira? No. No, I helped her. I, I took her to the hospital. Then why didn't you stay with her? I got scared. Scared of what? We got a dead girl and you killed her. I helped her! We're going to make it hard on you. We're going to tell the DA you're jerking us around. DA, the I... District attorney. They're going to put you in jail for the rest of your life. Please. Then start telling us the truth. I did. The hell you did. I didn't hurt her. You broke seven of her ribs, Bill. They went into her heart. The whole inside of her body was full of blood. I'm sorry. You know, I'm sorry. I didn't want her to die. Mrs. Grayson's alibi checked out. She was in church from 3 until 7, same time the ME says the girl was beaten. So she couldn't have killed her daughter? Well, she could have set the murder in motion and gone to pray while Bill Crawford killed her kid. Why would she want her child dead? Everyone says the kid was hell on wheels. Unless we connect Mrs. Grayson to Crawford, I can't see making the murder charge stick. Thank you. Update on the toll calls from North Carolina. A recent call to New York, to Rosa Hellesey. You told the detectives Bill Crawford wasn't capable of hurting a child? He's not. You covering for him the way you did for Mrs. Grayson? I don't need to cover for anyone. Well, then you can tell me if you saw Bill Crawford the night Kira Grayson was killed. Yes, I did. And the girl? They were in my apartment. One set for the feet, one for the hands. I got the on one. Saint Michael, protector of the innocent. Patron saint of battle. Who the hell are they battling in here? The devil. Sister Rosa, where are they taking you? You're making the mistake. Watch your head. Was Kira in that room when she died? You already know the answer to that. Then why don't you tell me what went on in there? You wouldn't understand. Try me. I've been going to mass since I was old enough to sit still. Then you should know why I can't talk about it. Rosa did one of those ceremonies. What kind of ceremony? You know, praying and stuff to make the girl better. So she wouldn't be bad all the time. Did the girl die in that room with Rosa? <laughs> I don't know. Margot Grayson brought her daughter to the Hallisey woman because she was a behavior problem. Whatever happened to send the kid to her room? Well, they tried that. The mother kept her chained to a radiator. And the man you charged? Bill Crawford. He took care of the hospital, tried to save her life. We've offered him a misdemeanor and probation. We've got murder indictments against the two women. Depraved indifference. Kira was tied to a bed during the ritual. They fractured her ribs, punctured her lung. To save her from the devil. Notice from Margot Grayson, she's raising an insanity defense. 